Hi everyone, um, this is my week two and a few days update on my Medusa piercing and my stretching my septum chat. Um, right, I have my septum, no, start again. Had my Medusa pierced for two and a bit weeks now and um, it's been healing really well since the embedding incident. But I still got, I still have the long barring, so I was thinking I might as well leave it in for as long as like it's comfortable, because I don't want to swap it out at two weeks and then be like, oh, it hurts again, it's swollen again, it's got to reheal again. Meh, meh, meh. So I'm gonna leave the long bar in. You can see it's quite long. La la la. Um, and then once it's been like four, maybe six weeks, I'm gonna change it to a shorter one. Is that? It's a 10 millimetre length by 1.2 millimetre width at the minute, and I think I get it changed to an 8 because I got quite thin lips. But I, um, I bought a new ball off Louis Vuitton. It's like silver with a little blue gem in it. But this bugger is screwed on really tight, and I can't get it off. So I'm gonna have to get some assistance later, I think. Um, but yeah, it's been. Oh, bleh, bleh. Um, but yeah, it's been healing really well so far. I've been really happy with it. I've just been doing the normal salt water washes in my mouth, and then I bought some almond and tea tree oil, which is really good because it's oil, so it like soaks in and soothes instead of like salt water can be a bit drying and abrasive around your face. So it's quite soothing to have that on instead of salt water for a change. Um, so yeah, I got some of that. I've been cleaning the outside with that. The inside healing really well. Outside healing really well. In the last video, I think I mentioned that I couldn't smile or laugh, and I thought it was because of the bar, but it wasn't. It's because I had an ulcer, so I was like, uh -huh. but now it's okay. But when I smile, I don't know if you can see, but the bar, you can see the bar there, um, and that's because it was pierced quite low down, so that it didn't look funny with my septum, but it doesn't really annoy me. You can't really feel it now, I'm just used to it. At like first, it was quite difficult to talk, but now I've had it for two weeks-ish. It's a bit better. Cute little dog. Um, and now, my septum. Got my septum pierced in October. Last October, so nearly, what's he doing? For nearly a year. Um, I got it pierced for my birthday. Birthday's on Halloween, if you wanna get me anything. No, okay. kidding. Um, all right, I got it pierced for my birthday. I got it pierced at 1.6 gauge which is a 14 gauge, I think. Don't hold me to that, but I think it's, one, it's 14. And um, it has been healing. It's the best healed piercing I've had. It just healed within like a month. And it just, no problems. It was really, 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 really painful while it was healing. But once it did heal, I've never had a problem since. Um, and then when I was on holiday, I decided, you know what? I want to stretch it a bit bigger because it looked a bit thin. So I got this pincher. I don't know if it's called a pincher, that's what I've heard people call it. But when I asked for a pincher, he was like, what? And I was like, a little thing like this. And he was like, I'm a horseshoe. I was like, not a horseshoe, no. I'm the spiky one. So he's like, oh, okay, a claw. So it might be called a claw, I don't know. But this thing in my face. I bought this and then when I got it, when I came home again, because I didn't want to do it on holiday. Because then I'd be like, uh. So then I got home and I was like, right, I clean it, clean my nose, clean my hands, and then I put it in there like that. And I was like, oh, it hurts. Oh, it really hurts. And I couldn't get it in any more than like that. And I just sat there and I was like, for God's sake, I look ridiculous and it really hurts. And then I was like, you know what I gotta do? I gotta man up and just push it in. And, and I had like Vaseline on it and everything and then I was just like <sighs> I was like ah, and it hurt loads loads and loads some people get away with it not hurting but it hurt quite a lot and then I was like oh so I cleaned it and then I had to put these little bastards on can you see don't think you can can you see no, you can't. It's an O-ring. Anyway, so then you got to get these on, which is like the most complicated bit. I got to get one on. And then you got to get two on. But I can never do the second one. There we go. And then you got to go, boop, 
push them together and then it took about two days to stop aching and then after that it's been fine since I only did it like I think I did it like a week ago maybe two weeks ago no about a week ago and yeah it's healed now completely healed and I've been told by my mum you're not to stretch it any bigger but you know I think I might I'm not sure I think it looks all right at the minute it's just chunky enough but not too like whoa you've got like a 10 mil in your face so I think I might leave it like this I think I'm going to switch my Medusa to a bigger ball and then I think I'll be quite a good balance I think I'll leave it at that right if you have any questions on stretching your septum how to do it alternative ways to do it Medusa piercings how much hurt stuff like that just comment below let me know on Facebook Twitter I put my kick on so you can kick me Instagram, anything like that. Just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye!